Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your energy reads between you and your person. So we'll look at the mutual, what's going on between you and your person, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, and the outcome, okay? This is for Capricorns. All right, Caps, let's see what's up with you and your person for the month of February. I'm using a new deck. If you're interested, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot on Amazon for about 20 bucks. You may notice that the setup is different. I've been in the process of moving, so that's why I haven't uh, posted in about a week. So thank you for bearing with me and being patient. I will post videos as much as I can while I'm making this transition, okay? Thank you so much again for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, let's go. Energies between you and your person, the mutual, the lovers. Wow, powerful card to come out. Okay, so definitely there's some type of love situation here, of course. How do you feel about them? The sun, okay. Feeling optimistic. Um, there could be something that uh, could be revealed or something that you want to know about as well. The sun brings light to a situation. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. With the lovers, could be dealing with the Gemini. Well, how do they feel about you? Knight of Wands. <laughs> So, so wow, this person could be on fire for you. They could be wanting to rush in toward you with that Knight of Wands energy. And what's the outcome? The Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone could be walking away. Someone could be leaving the situation. Someone could be leaving something to come toward you. Or you could be leaving something to come towards someone. Okay, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could be wanting to fix this situation or work it out so the two of you can start over with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Could be wanting to start something fresh, start something new with this person. Okay, let's get into it. Why is the lovers here for the mutual energy for Capricorn and their person? Why is the lovers here? Let's see. Six of Pentacles, Temperance. Five of Wands. Wow. Who? I feel like maybe the two of you feel like there's not enough love in this situation. The two of you may both feel conflicted. Ten of Cups. There could be a family involved. Look, Strength card with this uh, Leo. Someone with Leo in their chart. Because we have the sun and the strength card. that Both of those are Leo's major arcanas. This person could be having a difficult time with family. Okay. Ten of pentacles. Also another family card. This person is having a hard time dealing with some type of family situation. Could involve money as well. They're trying to start over. They're trying to do something with that six of pentacles. You feel like there's, uh, like very, both of you feel like you can only give each other so much, or you feel like there's not enough to go around in this uh, relationship. Temperance. The both of you have been trying to find balance in this relationship because there's been a lot of conflicting energies. Okay, so let's see. Why is your energy the sun toward this person? Why is the sun Capricorn's energy toward their person? Why is the sun card here for Capricorn's energy toward their person? Queen of Pentacles, there you are. Not, the King of Wands, there you are. Yet yeah, five of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You miss this person. Two of Wands. It's like you're waiting for them to come back. Yeah, Judgment card. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, picking right back up where we left off. Sorry, I had a knock on the door. I'm sure you heard that. But getting right back into it, you have the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, and Judgment. 
you are really waiting for this person to come back around. Some of you are waiting to reconcile with the with the person that you're thinking about. Whoever is on your mind while you're watching this reading, you're wanting to reconcile with this person. I see it very clearly. And over here, you are the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo energy. Then we have the king of wands. I'm telling you, some of you are dealing with a Leo um, or an Aries or a Sag. Or they have fire sign placements in their birth chart. Look, you miss this person. Five of pentacles. Look at that. You miss this person. This is clear as day. You miss this person. Five of pentacles. You feel left out in the cold by this person. You're hoping that this person will warm up. This person could have been cold lately. And you're hoping that this person will come in to say something to you. What's the Knight of Wands for your person's energy? What we got? We have the Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person... It's like they're holding back right now, four of pentacles, but it's like, I want to come toward chariot. I want to come toward my Capricorn, but I'm fixing things. I'm working on things. I'm working on myself with the eight of pentacles energy. I have a lot going on, but I'm trying to get my money up. I'm trying to step up my game. Some of them could be literally uh, working on a business. Some of them could be trying to build a business. Some of them could be trying to save up money. I feel like this person wants to impress you because underneath it, they are on fire for you with that Knight of Wands energy. They're on fire. And I feel like this person really wants to come back to you. But right now they're at the Four of Pentacles. So they may feel like they don't have enough. They may feel like their money is, you know how I'm getting the energy of a male that you're dealing with or a masculine energy. Men like their money to be right, okay, before they approach you. You are this queen sitting over here and and you're looking at them as a king, but they feel like a knight. Do you see that energy there? You understand that dynamic? This person doesn't feel like a king yet, even though this is how you see them. They don't feel this way yet. They feel like they got to get their money right um, or work on themselves. This person, it, it doesn't have to just be money that they're working on. This person is working on themselves to give you the best version of them. What's the eight of cups for the outcome? Wow. Death. What's the Eight of Cups? The Moon and Judgment. How I feel like this person. <laughs> okay, let me show you what was at the bottom of the deck before I show you the outcome. We have the High Priestess, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Devil. So I feel like something in their past is keeping them stuck right now. And I feel like they, they're keeping it a secret because they don't want you to know these things or they don't want you to see their baggage. Some of them could definitely, like I mentioned already, could be struggling with finances or money in some type of way. So with the outcome, there was that Eight of Cups. And then to clarify, we had the Death card come out. Yeah, this person is ending something or walking away from something. Moon card, there may be a lot of uh, secrets or fears surrounding this situation with this person. But judgment, this person is going to make a final judgment call. Let's clarify that judgment card. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here for the outcome? Why is judgment here for the outcome? Four of Wands, yes, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, bam. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person wants you. You guys, you're going to have a chance to work it out with this person. The Four of Wands, they see you as home, as marriage material, as a, a potential relationship if you're not already together. 
to I feel like you're not together with this person, but you want to be. Two of Wands, a decision will be made to reconcile. Three of Cups. Wow, this is like the best reading of the night. <laughs> this is like the best reading of the night, you guys. Okay. What's the advice? What's the advice for Capricorns and this person? What is the advice? This person feels like you are the one, but they need to work on some things before they approach you. Too many cards. What's the advice for Capricorns and this person? Let go of control issues. Yeah. Let go of control issues. There may have been something uh, in your recent past with this person where the both of you were controlling your emotions, uh, kind of staying back away from each other. It says, let the, allow the situation to unfold naturally. And it's hard to do that when you want to know what's going on with this person. But just let go for now because this person has a lot to work on before they can approach you. Deception. Yeah, I think it's deceptive um, the way they're coming off. You may feel, like I said, you may feel like this person just ghosted you. Maybe they didn't say anything. They just left you out in the cold. But do you see how this man is looking at this person? This person, you think that they don't care or they they just gave you the cold shoulder with that five of pentacles? No, that's the deception. This person cares about you more than you know. You both look at each other as the lovers. Remember, the lovers came out from mutual energy. One more for the advice calling in your soulmate now come on y'all y'all are calling each other in and you probably don't even realize it y'all are calling each other in but this person like i said they have a lot to work on and they don't feel they feel inadequate because they know that you're a queen they know that you're a king they know and they want to step to you the right way oh too many what's the advice one more for the advice forgiveness yeah they're going to see i feel like there's a bunch of misconceptions in this they feel like you may be you know cold to them because you don't want them and you may feel like they're being cold to you because they don't want you. And so I feel like the two of you are going to have to forgive each other for deceiving each other. It's almost like there's a misunderstanding between the two of you because it's not really what it seems. It's not really what it seems. And I feel like with that moon card in the outcome, there are a lot of things that you are in the dark about with this person that you don't know you have no idea what this person is really going through and they don't really know what you're going through they don't know how much you really miss them i feel like you haven't even told them how much you miss them but forgiveness needs to happen for this to move forward okay you both need to forgive each other and that's with letting go of the control letting go of the control and learning how to be vulnerable with one another Okay. Alrighty, you guys. So that is your energy for you and your person for the month of February, 2021, the month of love. Alrighty, Capricorns. I hope it resonated. If it did not, maybe next time, but don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, I would appreciate it so much. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you, Capricorns. Take care. Have a great month. Bye.